you have ever felt the need to know more about ovulation, this video is for you. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mess Mary, popularly known as the nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five things you as a lady or as a man should know about your ovulation. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you five facts about ovulation so you stay informed. Yes, but if you've not watched our video on the various signs of ovulation, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you have access to this video and stay informed. Yes. So the first thing that should come to your mind or the first question that should come to your mind or the first thing you need to know about ovulation is what is the subject matter? What is ovulation? In simple terms, ovulation is simply the period in a woman's cycle where an egg is released from the ovary. When you were born into this world, you have millions of immature eggs in your ovaries. And when you get to the puberty, every month, at least one matured egg is released from the ovaries. And this goes through the fallopian tube where fertilization takes place and down to the womb where implantation and all other series of pregnancy stages takes place. So ovulation is a period where an egg is released from the ovary, at least one egg. There might be situations where more than two eggs are released from the ovary or more than one eggs are released from the ovary. But as a healthy woman, at least one egg is released from the ovary every month. The second question is, when does ovulation occur? For you to know when ovulation occur, you have to know your menstrual cycle. And for a healthy lady with regular cycle, with regular period, your cycle is usually between 28 to 35 days. So when you're able to calculate your menstrual cycle, it gives you an insight of your ovulation date. Because ovulation usually takes place 14 days before your meses, before you see your period. So ovulation, for example, in 28 days cycle, the ovulation day is usually on the 14th day. For a 28 day cycle, the ovulation day is usually on the 14th day. For those that don't know how to calculate their menstrual cycle, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you have access to this video and you are able to calculate your menstrual cycle and know your ovulation date. The third thing is how long does ovulation take place? When my egg is released, does it just spend one day, two days or three days? That is why I am here, I'm going to tell you. When your egg is released, it lasts for just 24 hours hours after 24 hours it is gone then the next question that wants to come to your mind is does it mean when this egg is released on that day and i don't have sex on that particular day i am not going to get pregnant the answer is no that is why we have the fertile period before because three to five days before the egg is released is also fertile because the sperm has a lifespan of three to five days that is why when calculating your ovulation phase, your menstrual cycle, they tell you that um, five to six days, like on the calendar, is your most fertile period. And during this period, when you have sex, there's an increased likelihood of getting pregnant. Then I take me to the other question, which is, does ovulation comes with signs and symptoms? Yes, ovulation usually shows itself in various ways. And the first one is the basal body temperature. The basal body temperature. Few days before this egg is released, you will notice maybe a decrease in your body temperature. But on the day this egg is released, there's usually a spike. There's an increase in temperature. That shows you that, oh, you just released an egg. Then another sign is cervical mucus. 
the cervical mucus in the vagina changes. You are going to get the slippery, um, slippery catar-like cervical mucus when you are on your ovulation period. And another sign is that for the ladies, there is an increased sex drive. During this period, your body is prepared to have sex. There is mucus, there's, um, there's a lot of secretions down there that will help the sperm swim to where it will be fertilized. So that is how the body is just created to make fertilization easy and to make pregnancy easy. Women may also experience breast tenderness. They have this, they experience this soreness of the breast whenever they touch the breast. There might be nausea, headache, and sometimes ovulation pain. You hear women say, during ovulation, I feel pain. This pain can range from mild to severe pain that causes discomfort and they are unable to carry out their usual activities of the day. Then the last thing you should know that is coming in the form of a question, the fifth number is, can ovulation be predicted? Yes, as a lady, you can predict your ovulation, especially when you have a regular cycle. This can be predicted by the changes that takes place in your body, which is your basal body temperature, which I already explained. The other one is the cervical mucus that comes out from the vagina during this period. That can give you a clue to know, oh, I am on my ovulation on, on my ovulation period then you also can use the ovulation test kit and the fertility test kit so these both these kits both check for what's called the luteinizing hormone the luteinizing hormone it shows that when there's an increase in this luteinizing hormone when you buy the ovulation test kit all you just need to do is you know like your normal pregnancy test where you put a urine sample you check the the lines and the intensity so you compare it most ovulation kits some ovulation kits they come with uh, something at the bottle or at the pa like a paper sheet that you use to compare the intensity of the lines and that tells you oh you are ovulating or not fertility is majorly talking about the period where there's an increased fertility chance but both of them help to pre um, predict ovulation when compared to your normal basal body temperature and cervical mucus so these are basically the five things i want you to know about ovulation for those that are having irregular cycle what i would advise is for you to speak to your healthcare provider your doctor to find out why you are having irregular cycle because irregular cycle might be as a result of polycystic ovary syndrome and other conditions that are associated with the female Email. So I would advise you speak with your doctor, find out the reason why you're having irregular cycle if need be, get an explanation and get some treatment if need be. In general, like I will always say, it is better for you as an individual to see your doctor and the doctor tells you nothing is wrong than for you to assume nothing is wrong and deep down something is wrong. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.